So a little story. Fairly close to our departure, I realized that it was a very long bus ride from Drakensburg, where we just spent three days with the Drakensburg Boys Choir and had a fantastic time, to Kruger National Park, which is where we're headed to do a concert actually on Tata Madiba's birthday. And so I started talking to some of my hosts and saying, do you know of any choirs somewhere between Drakensburg and Kruger who might host? And they said, well, you know, the lovely people in that area, conservative, probably would need a year in advance to plan. <laughs> I, I really doubt at the last minute anyone is going to receive you. So I just, I, 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 I was sitting in my office and I just Googled. And up came the Highveld Jugendchor. And I called your conductor and he immediately put me in touch with your wonderful administrators, Sarnau and Sunet. And within like hours, two weeks before we left, we were being, being hosted by you. And at that point, our t-shirts, our itinerary was basically, it was the, the t-shirts were ready to print. And I called the printer and I said, we need to put Pete Ratif on the t-shirts. On the and they said, sorry, it's not enough time. I said, oh no. If, he if Heifeld Jugendkor and Pete Ratif can do this last minute, you need to hold the presses. And it, just as it turned out, turn around, boys, Pete Ratif appears the largest <laughs> in the con... And so, of course, we're doing Cape Town and Pretoria and Kruger and these wonderful places, but, but you just can't match the warmth and the hospitality of a small town. So this next piece is for you. It's a Swahili piece. I will not give you the translation. You'll, you'll know fairly soon what it is, and we offer this to the wonderful people of Pete Ratif and the Heifelt Jugendkorps. 